Hi, Paul Merriman here from askpaul.ie. Today we're gonna to have a quick chat with you around investments and I'm gonna give you three key takeaways uh, from this video. Tip number one. So when it comes to investments, everybody automatically thinks about risk and maybe gets a little bit afraid. However, not all investments carry massive high risks and therefore wouldn't have major swings of ups and downs in the value of your investment. Investments are generally split in between risk-rated funds. What I mean by that is they go from one to seven, okay? So if you're really, really low risk, you'd be in a category one, and if you're really high risk and a big risk taker, you'd be in a category seven. Most clients that I sit down with are usually in around a three or a four, but it really depends on your own risk appetite, and a good financial advisor will help you identify what your risk appetite is and get you into the correct fund. Two, where to invest. You have a couple of options here. The main one that I help clients with mostly, and most financial advisors will be the same, will they go towards life insurance company pooled funds, so funds of funds, where your money is pooled in with other people's money, and it makes sense that way. The good thing about this is you don't need to be a millionaire to get involved. You can actually get involved in as little as 75 euro per month, which makes it really accessible for a lot of people out there. Another option available to most people is to set up what's called a stockbroker account or stock trading account where you buy stocks and shares directly yourself. This is a really good option if you have a larger amount of money and you want to diversify and you want to get a dividend income paid into your portfolio. Generally, I would look for clients to have somewhere between 200 and 250,000 euro before they consider going this approach. Three, why invest? So why bother? When it comes to deposit accounts, yes, they are 100% safe in people's minds. You get the interest from the bank, there's not many ups and downs, and it's just there, and some people like that comfort. However, you may have realized in a recent statement from your bank that deposit account returns are abysmal. They're practically zero, especially when you look at inflation and other factors. And this is why people are starting to take their money out of deposit and put them in towards investments. What I would say is that deposit has got a home if you want an emergency fund. So an emergency fund would equate to usually one or two months net annual salary. And that should be there for stuff like kids getting sick, time off work, unexpected, maybe the fridge or the freezer breaking down or something that happens in the house that stops you going to your investment account, you go to your emergency account. That's the only time I'd usually recommend deposits. We have a lot more content on askpaul.ie and we also have a blog post specifically designed for News Talk listeners where I give my top tips on top funds over the last five years.